I'm a Richmond rapper. So sad when I step up. One white, one black. Salt and pepper. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy AWOL Beats here with another Moss Talk. And today, I got a very special guest today. Uh, I don't want to disrespect him and call him an OG, but when I say it, it's in a different light because when I talk about this man, I'm talking about a man who I saw putting pressure down in the neighborhoods all over the city. And I, and to see him now as, as a king really putting on his crown now and, and, and coming back to that same city that he did so much damage to and, and to, to shape it and rebuild it and, and save this community for the future... I'm here with none other than Biggie Tom, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Hey, man, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Uh, shout out, man, Moss Entertainment, man. Um, for real, for real, I want to big you guys up, man. Gang, gang. You know, I've been following you guys for a minute, man. I seen uh, the Fresh Porter interview. Um, of course, man, my guy Tweezy, you know, I seen yeah. his interview, man. You know, I, I watched quite a few of them, actually. And I just love the the Christmas, the professionalism, you know, of what y'all do. You know, it's a real good look for the city, man. And, uh, you know, keep pushing, man. For real. Salute. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, Yeah, that's a real too, Kurt. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But, man, I want to start from the beginning. Because, you know, like I said, I know know you very well. I watched your journey from afar as a kid, mm -hmm. looking out his window, listening to you pass out your your tapes with the trunk open. And, but but for the people who don't know, and, and before we get to how big of a day this is for you, I want you to literally start from the beginning and give give us some of that that, that history on who you are today. Well, you know, uh, once upon a time, man, you know, I used to be, you know, in the hood mobbing, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all, y'all know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I always liked music, you know what I'm saying? So I was, you know, into the whole music culture as well. You know, I got a little age on me. I'm 46. So I, I really came up in the heyday of hip hop in the beginnings. So, you know, my appreciation for this culture is, is kind of different. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm connected to the root, to the root of it. And just to see the evolution of it, you know, today, you know, to see, you know, what you young guys have added to the culture, you know, uh, it's, it's exciting, man, you know. And I'm in tune and I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really listen to the old stuff. I listen to all the new stuff. Like, you know, okay. I'm an old nigga, but, you know, I, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm on side, though. So, oh, you know, right. yeah. so, so, you know, I'm hip, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, I, I love what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know, you got guys like Sko. You know, you got my man Mac been with it. Shout you know out Sko, shout out Mac. You know, you got Skeet, you got OG Hunter, man. You oh, know, yeah. um, my guy, man, from Jackson Ward, man. Uh, Rio? Yes, man, ball out, man. Ball out crazy, man. Yeah, try to you know, cat, boy. Try to cat, man. Yeah. You know, Fresh Porter, he ain't from the city, man. But, bro, man, he, he you know, he be working, man. Too oh, deep, yeah. boarding from the Berg. Oh, yeah. You know, um. La Kiddo from the West End. Yeah. Where, you know, like, like, we got names. You know, to drop now. I ain't geographical, man. Like, yeah. you know, I learned a long time ago that, you know, you put yourself in a real small box thinking like that. Yeah. You know, uh, when you when we was young in the in the game and trying to get some real money, you know, we learned a long time ago that you gotta get outside the block to really make it happen. Right. You know, so uh, to geographics, man, I it, it don't really make sense and I'm gonna tell you why. We'll be out here mobbing on our geographical stuff, and then we get locked up, and then we all we got. You know what I'm saying? You know, so if that's what it is, we might as well be moving like that while we free. Outside, yeah. You know what I'm maybe, saying? Maybe, maybe we wouldn't end up in here. If we maybe move. we wouldn't end Or, like, just the moves get bigger yeah, because we networking, man, and what we're doing is we tapping into each other's consumer bases. Yeah. You know, so we expanding everything. You know, so the geographics, man, you know, people need to really get away from that because they limit themselves with that way of thinking, bro. Absolutely. So what, what was the what was the turning point for you to, like, get into music? Or what, what motivated you? Was there anybody around that you could think of? Because, I, like I said, I grew up listening Rock to your him. music. Okay, yeah. You know, I can hear for, for me, it was Rakim and Cool G Rap. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout out because to the gods. 
And y'all gotta forgive me, this phone gonna be winging tonight. That jump but, <laughs> jumping over here. <laughs> but uh Kooji rapper Rakim, right? Because those are the guys that mostly resemble what I was looking at when I was looking outside my window. Yeah. You know, the flash street guys that had the big gold chains, you know what I'm saying? The dope ropes with the big medallions on them, oh, the yeah. ballet shoes. You know, back then, that's what it was. You know, guys yeah. was on their flash shit, the silk suits and shit like that. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? So, you know, it was those guys because, you know, it was like they were lyrical assass assassins, but, you know, they were street dudes, too. Yeah. And, you know, back then, rap was real. Like, dudes won't cap and dudes was really rapping their life yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying nah. so you know it's just different you know right. so so what was the, the the point where you went from music to going down a, a darker darker road if, <laughs> if that means. I'm trying to well people gotta understand about music right like I fell in love with music and I wanted to do it professionally yeah. and it's not cheap you have to fund it yeah you De understand what I'm saying? De definitely you not know, cheap. If, if you're really serious about doing music, man, take money to do it because, you know, you, you, the marketing side of it. Yeah. You know, people be thinking that it's all about that pen and getting the right beats and all that. Yeah. But if you ain't got the proper marketing, nobody will never hear that but your five or six homeboys. Yeah. You know, and it costs money to market. So, uh, you know. Message. No. <laughs> trying to, you know, trying to fund my movement, man. You know, I had to get out there and, you know, bust a couple moves and, you know, kind of make things happen. Yeah. So, in doing that, how long did you end up uh, facing or did you ever have to face time? In jail. Man, bro, I did three different incarcerations, Jeez. man. I, I did two in the state, and I did one in the feds. You know, my last one, man, I got sentenced to 17 and a half years. I wound up doing um, almost 13 years on that one. Oh, uh, you know, what, what people got to realize about the game is bosses take losses, right? Nice. Calculate the risk. All right, you know, I was trying to do the music thing. It took money to do it. So, you know, I bust the move. You know, it, it went bad on me. I had to pay the toll. I ain't crying about it. You know, um, me going to prison actually was the best thing that happened to me because that's where I woke up at. You know, when I was out here in the streets, man, I was deaf, dumb, and blind. I was caught up in it, man. I couldn't see past what was in front of me. But it took me being um, really just, you know, sat down for a minute to, to be able to really be able to fully see the board, you know, so I could make some better moves. You feel me? Bars. You know, and so, you know, I, I thank God for what happened to me, for real, for real, because if it wasn't for that, I would still be lost and, 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 and trapped in it. You know, um, it was a brother by the name of Jerry Muhammad, man. He used to come in and minister to us on, on Fridays. He was from the Nation of Islam, Nation of Islam, brother. And, you know, when you got all that time, you can get a little bit, you know, depressed and down on yourself. Yeah. And he was like, you know, why y'all brothers holding your heads? You know, we was like, man, you know, look at us, man. We know we locked up, we trapped all. He was like, nah, man. He was like, I need y'all to look at it a little bit different. He said, what does a wise man do with his treasures? You know, we was like, you know, he keep them safe. He was like, how? We was like, he put them in the safe. He said, so he lock them up. <laughs> and we was like, yeah. He was like, well, listen, you, you guys are God's treasures. And God had to lock you up to save you from yourselves. Bars. You know, um, <laughs> when, when I heard that, Everything kind of like came Good. full circle and started making sense, you know. So uh, that's when I made my adjustment, yeah. you know, and that's when I start educating myself. Because what we got to understand is, you know, um, this existence that we're living, you know, it's not unique. It's going on in all 52 states. You know, the black existence is it's universal. You know, it's a whole lot of struggle wrapped up in that. But yeah. we were legislated into this condition. But we're going to have to educate ourselves about of it. Because the powers that be aren't invested in our come up, At so all. we gotta invest in our own. And 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 on that note, I, that's why I appreciate the the man that's sitting right here in front of me because I saw the destruction. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I saw you going, "Hey, I need to make music." And so if you got you in my way, you got to get out my way. So to see the man now. Like you said, pulling 17 years and then you could have came out and said, I'm gonna do the same thing, which a lot of guys do. What made you go, you know, I learned so much in that box and then now I'm free, but I still got, I can make a choice. I still can, you get what I'm saying? Because everybody's still hit with that door when they get out and it's still, 
is either choice A or choice B. What made you choose the right choice? Well, for me, man, it just was really about just being tired of starting over, right? Yeah. And, you know, when you're a real hood nigga, like, you know, when you've been mobbing for real, for real, man, you pay dues. Yeah. I don't owe the streets nothing. But, you know, I owe myself a lot. I owe my family a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was time that, you know, I reevaluated my priorities, man. You know, my, my worldview and my, you know, my core values and principles, man. I, I, I needed to take another look at that. You know, and, and when I did, I realized that... Um, I was putting too much value into meaningless things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I decided that I, I wanted to be an asset to my community as opposed to a liability because I took so much. Yeah. You know, um, you can learn a lot from a farmer, man. You know, one thing about a farmer is when he reaps the harvest, man, he always plants more seeds to make sure that there's something left for the next season. Bars. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I understand. So, you know, just, just, just studying in that, you know, the knowledge behind that, the wisdom behind that, you know, it's kind of what I'm doing now, man. I'm planting seeds, man, for the next harvest. And that harvest, man, I'm not going to reap. You know, that's going to be for y'all, you know. Yeah. And through my example, I'm hoping that once y'all reap that harvest, that y'all will plant some more seeds for the ones that's behind y'all, you know. Absolutely. And, and I'm telling you right now, I'm planting them seeds. <laughs> Already. I got them seeds for you. I mean, shoot, you're giving them out every day because you're giving guys a platform, man. You know, mm-hmm. this is important, man, because, you know, sometimes, man, we have this stuff trapped up in us, man, and we don't know how to release it. Yeah. You know, this is a constructive outlet, man, to release. It, right. You know, and, and it's beautiful, man. You know, like I say, man, you know, I, I watched a lot of y'all podcasts, man, and all of them, man, I've learned something. You know, so uh, y'all heard it from you. You know, salute Moss Entertainment, man. Like you know what y'all doing, man. It's heavy, man, and and it's good for the culture. You know, keep feeding the streets, man. You know what I mean, for real. Right. Good food too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Zeke on you, mother. But nah, man. But I appreciate that for real, for real. To yeah. be honest, you, you like I said, coming from an OG, that means more than what you think. Mm-hmm. But. Let's talk like better day than what is it? Better day, better day than, than yesterday. Yes, yes. Yeah. That was the, that was the first thing when when I first moved back to Virginia and I saw you, you know, building that. I was like, man, he he's really turned over a new leaf. Like, well, shout out to Better Day than Yesterday. Actually, that's not my organization. That's my homegirl, Latisha Gordon's organization. Yeah. But she gave me my first opportunity, man, as far as in this field, man, of philanthropy. Yes. And um. When I first came home, I couldn't get an ID because it was the whole COVID situation. So I had to wait like seven months to get an ID. So I had to think of a way to make money legally, yeah. you know, during that time period. So that's how I got into the party promoting and stuff like that, right? Yes. So because I wanted to do good and I had made this decision while I was locked up, I, I stayed committed to that decision. So I would take half of the proceeds that I made from parties and now I'll put it back into the community through uh, like book bag v- drives. Cookouts at Brawl Rock. Know, cookouts at Brawl Rock. You know, mm. different type stuff like that, you know. But um, it was through those actions that uh, she took notice of me, you know. And uh, one day, you know, I had been noticing her too because she's so active in the community. Yeah. And I was like, man, she out here, man. She going hard, man. I love what she do. So I just hit her up one day, man. You know, didn't know her. I hit her up on Facebook. I'm like, listen, my name is Thomas Monday. You do not know me, but I admire and respect what you're doing in the community. And I would love to add my energy to that. You know, she sat down with me. She talked to me. She allowed me to come in, and she guided me, and she molded me. You know, uh, a lot of people, man, you know, they want to keep you at employee status. Yeah. They won't give you what you need to excel past that point. <laughs> but, you know, she was different. You know, everything we did, she she explained it to me, told me the whys, the hows, yeah. the ins and outs, you know, to prepare me. For what I'm doing tonight, which is I'm having my launch party for my own organization, which is called Free, right? Burr, 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 burr. You know what we I'm saying? Need some air horns for that one. Yeah. You know, finding redemption through enlightenment and education, man. That's what Free stands for. And see, the reason why I chose this name is because, you know, like I said, I've, you know, endured three different incarcerations. Uh, most people think that Free is just being let out of the building out of, you know, your term of confinement, man. But it's bigger than that, man. Free is being released from, you know, the conditions and circumstances that trapped you off in the first place. So you got to educate yourself, man, to break those chains. 
You understand right. what I'm saying? Right, absolutely. So that's why I be pushing that education the way I be pushing it. Yeah. Because that's the only way, man, that you can truly free yourself, man, Thanks. from poverty, you know, from crime, yeah. from, you know, mass incarceration. You know, you have to educate yourself about that. Because if you don't know better, how you going to do better? You know? Okay. So, uh, you know, Free, man, it's my new organization. Um, I'm actually having my launch party tonight, man, at 5735 Hall Street. to turn up. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, Club Escapate Lounge. You know, these my guys. So, of course, man, I got y'all set out. I got a, I got a section for Moss, oh. man, for Moss Entertainment, man. Right. You know what I mean? You know, we going up the big way. You know what I mean? Shout already. out my guys, man. Don't fold in entertainment. Shout man, out, already. don't fold. You know, um, you know, you know, it's love. You know, um, Sometimes in life, man, you'll spend your whole life invested in other people's vision. Yeah. And when it's time for you to make your move, you don't have nothing left for yourself. So yeah. I know if I didn't do it now, I might not have ever did it. Ever did it. Yeah. So I just took a you know a leap of faith, man. And, you know, free is my vision for how to continue servicing um, the Richmond community. And what a lot of people don't know is, you know, currently um, I go into the local prisons and jails. You know, and teach soft skills and workforce development to the reentry population, meaning the guys is ready to return home and, you know, to prepare them to reenter the workforce. And once they come out, I actually serve as their case manager for a year to connect them with all the available state and local resources like jobs, transitional housing and stuff like that. So the same dismal trip um, crips that I used to be trapped off in, I'm now going back into these institutions, man, bringing light, man, pulling brothers up, man, you know. And I tell the brothers that you ain't got to go left to get right, Thanks. you know. You just got to have some patience, some discipline, and some structure. And... You can come up out of it, you know. So I just try to be the message that I bring, man. You know, uh, by the grace of God, I've been here two years, two months, man, and I ain't took a shortcut yet, man. I ain't sold so much as a pin J, man. You know, everything I I, I don't then I, I I've done thus far, man. Just been off of you know real hustle, real work, real grind, man. You know, and um, it, it's it's been rough, you know, but uh, it's been fulfilling though. You know, I feel good about what I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can sleep at night. I can, man. I yeah. can. That's the know? most important. That's one of the most important things. That's being free. Yeah. <laughs> you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you're basically you know, being tortured in your mind at night if you're doing so much dirt that your conscience ain't even letting you go to sleep. When I'm riding down the street, bro, and the police get behind me or pull up beside me, my heart don't beat fast no more. I turn the music up. I want to turn it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? You I ain't worried about, you know, a jack boy or the yeah. police kicking my door in at four o'clock because the jackers know I ain't got enough for them to take and the police <laughs> know I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, and for real, for real, you know, every you know, people like the front, you know, everybody wanna act rich and shit like that. Like, yeah. you know, I ain't got no pride or ego problems, man. You know, I'm out here, man, I'm you know, I'm trying to get it out the mud, man, and you know, I, I I'm making my come up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, money is a tool. That's that's it. That's it. it. It doesn't make you. It doesn't define you. You know, what it is is, you know, it's 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 a useful tool to a wise man. It's definitely destruction to a fool. Another bar. He's you know bodying body this real, shit. I don't know if y'all listening, know, but he's killing it. If you got money and you don't know what to do with it, you probably wind up hurting yourself. And Probably wind up doing yourself more harm than good, you know. Yeah, statistics so, you know, to say that too. <laughs> so educate yourself, man, because you know, especially if you all here getting money, you know, educate yourself because it's gonna come a time where you're gonna need to put that money into something, you know, that's not in the dirty lane, yeah. you know. And so you're gonna need to know how to move it, how to monitor it, because you know, if you don't know how to track your money, people can steal from you. Easy. That's why the education is so important. You know, you have so many people, man, that have money, but they don't have knowledge, so they have to trust people, and they wind up losing all their money because they never took the time. That just happened to Fat Jill for the second time. Man, so many. Terrell Owens. Yeah. Like, I can go on and on and on and on, man, about people, man, who didn't know enough to maintenance and maintain their money, and people took it from them. You know, educate yourselves, man. You we know, need more. We need more, like, black accountants. Cause you get what I'm saying? Like we, 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 I know we say we have this trust issue, but we, like you said, we trust enough. We trust each other enough in jail. Like why we can't build our own accounts in our own neighborhoods and then only work with them? Because we've been tricked into thinking that the black part product is an inferior product. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's that's a trick, man. You know what make me so mad, man? About 
the way things are set up now, right? Mm-hmm. You know, the trick is so blatant that it's not even a trick, you know? Yeah. Uh, the powers that be feel like we don't give a fuck. So they don't even disguise what they're doing now. Right in your face. It's, it's, it's right in our face, man. And and we don't give a fuck because we keep perpetuating this cycle of uh, violence. Hatred. And self-hatred. Not yeah. hatred, self-hatred. Self-hatred, you're right. You know, that's uh, destructive to just us. <laughs> you know, we ain't hurt nobody but us. Nobody but us. You know, and, you know, it's just sad because, you know, at what point, man, do you evolve and grow out of that and start, you know, protecting and feeding and providing and creating opportunities for your people mm-hmm. as opposed to continuously turn them down or, you know, literally crushing them. Mm-hmm. You know, it has to stop, man. At what point do we get to the point where we can start having conversations? Why is everything a killing offense? Yeah. You know, it, mm-hmm. it's just sad, man, to where we can't even communicate with each other effectively enough to diffuse a problem. Yeah. Especially when it diffuse a problem that nine times out of ten did not deserve the end in death. Didn't deserve the energy that was yeah, put was into it. Put into it. Yeah. You know, so we just gotta get better, man. You know, we waste too much time talking about what others have done to us, what the yeah. police have done to us, what white people have done to us. Like, you know, that drum been beat so long. Like, you know, it's time that we start asking ourselves, what are we doing to better our condition yeah. ourselves? Absolutely. You know, we want everybody to invest in us and we're not investing in us. Bob. That don't make sense. You know, why would I invest in you and you don't believe in you? Facts. You know, and that's how the world look at us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got to get to a point where we believe enough in ourselves to start building each other up as opposed to tearing each other down. It's like, uh, you know, we in competition with each other. Everybody's concerned about, you know, who goes first as opposed to just getting over the hump. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to get over the hump because once the door is open, then everybody can come through. Yeah. And I'm coming I'm coming through with the Tim boots, though. You know what I mean? With a black flag. So you know I'm staying. You know what I mean? But, man. Yeah, you know, what people don't know is our history. You know, I remember when you was, a, you know, a little thugger, man. You know, I know your mother. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Shout out and to Joyce. Shout right. out to Joyce, man. <laughs> A.K.A. Juicy in the hood. Word. <laughs> but I remember when you was just a little thugger, man, running around, just peeping the scene. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it's crazy because back then, man, I ain't had no good food to give you. And yeah. I regret that. But, you know, now that I'm home and, you know, I've learned a few things and, and, and I've evolved, I ain't holding nothing back. You know, yeah. you know for a fact, man, Absolutely. I, I'm giving y'all the game. I'm giving yeah. it to y'all. I ain't holding nothing back. Every opportunity that's, in, though, that's been presented and extended to me, I've extended it to yeah. y'all. Absolutely. Because y'all are the ones that's best positioned to take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all are the leaders of the new school. You know, it ain't for me to, like... If you're a Christian and you're familiar with the Bible, right, you know, Moses was tasked with leading his people into the land of Canaan, right? Yeah. But before he got there, he said, I'm not going to be able to go into the land of milk and honey. That's yeah. that's not my destiny. It was just for me to get y'all there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is kind of how, like, how I feel about, you know, my journey. You know what I'm saying? You know, it ain't for me yeah. to... You know, do that. It's just for me to guide y'all there and then let y'all take over. Yeah. You know, so I'm just here, man, to do my part. And my part is to educate first. You know what I'm saying? And then to lend y'all strength when y'all need it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just be trying to uphold my end of it. You know? Absolutely, man. And like I said, tonight's about to be a big night for you. Word. And you are holding up your end of it. Like I said, you are playing seeds. I'm one of them. Like you said, you you know for a fact I watched you. Oh, yeah. Like a hawk. And I'm going to continue to watch you because, like I said, if if I could follow you down a wrong hole and now seeing you, like I said, you you, you becoming a king, I, I'm following you that way too. I want to be right up there with you later on with that crown on my head. Yeah, y'all call me OG, man, but for real, for real, you know, y'all like my little OG. Yeah. <laughs> for real, for real, y'all had to educate me to the ways of the new world. Right. You know, when I came home after doing all that time, bro, I was lost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was late. Yeah. You know, I needed y'all to bring me up, up to, to speed. speed. Roger that. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, I respect y'all mass. I respect y'all movements. 
and uh, anything I can do to to help y'all, you know, on y'all journey, on y'all way. Sir RJ. You know, it's done. I got to take hey, this call right here. Say, that's the DJ. RJ, <laughs> what's up, baby? Now, I'm about to leave about this station to head on over. I'm going to see if he was dead already. You want me to wait? No, nah, no. Nah, come on now, man. I'm actually doing a podcast with Moss Entertainment. Shout out Moss Entertainment. Yeah. I'm here with the guys. <laughs> all, right, all right, what up, y'all? What up, what up? What up? Word. So, um, yeah. All right, I'm, so I'm about to leave the radio now. Uh, Shit, I'm about to go in the bathroom, switch my clothes, and <laughs> be there in about 20, 25 minutes. I'm headed there now myself, bro, already. All right. All right. Bro, I was on the radio with him today. Yeah, bro. So, um, you know, um, you know, like I said, man, it's y'all time. You know, uh, y'all the leaders of the new school, man. I'm here to aid and support in any way that I can. Uh, if I had one message that I would want to give to Richmond, it would be that, you know, we're stronger together. You know, uh, we got to get to the point where we putting the petty differences aside and uh, we moving, you know, with a unified goal and purpose. And that's just to put our city on the map. You got a lot of creative energy down here, man. You got a lot of guys doing a lot of big things. You know, we got podcasts. You know what I'm saying? We got musicians, man, out the wazoo. Yeah. We got more promoters than we got clubs. <laughs> you know, we True. got five promoters for every club. And yeah. we got a whole lot of clubs down here. You know, we got a lot of, man, things going on. A lot of kinetic energy, man. You know, it's just that we got to focus that energy and keep it positive. Don't let it get you know, funny style and crazy, man. And we got to stop boxing each other out, man. It's room for everybody, right, you know. Right. So, um, you know, we need to show more love. You know, everybody talk love, but ain't nobody showing love. You know, love is I an actual You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Virginia you know, is for lovers, man. Man, word up, man. Look, I ain't so, going to hold you up. I see you got to go, man. But yeah. look, it's Music One Stop Shop. I'm AWOL Beats. This is Moss Talk. This is what, episode two of season two. We here with Biggie Tom. You got a big night tonight. Got any last things you want to say? You want to plug your IG, man? Yeah, man. You know, on IG, man, I met Tom Created on Facebook, Um, you know, um, Thomas Monday. And also on IG, um, Free LLC. You know, um, if you got some people, man, that's coming home from doing the bid, man, and, you know, they trying to, you know what I'm saying, do things the right way. Tap in, man. Have them hit me up. I help them any way I can. Um, I don't just help people that's locked up. If you are a citizen of Richmond and you're down on your luck and you're looking for a job, I'm a jobs person. Hit me up, man. You know, if I can help you, I will. You know, with me, man, you know, I'm, I'm going to lead the same way I came, and that's with love, man. All right. Y'all heard it. We leaving with love. Already. Moss Talk, we out. Good shit, OG. Yeah. <laughs>